Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example which is a combination of mensuration and trigonometry chapters. Now, this question has four sub questions as we can see over here, and sub question C is again divided into two parts. So, let us start with the A question first. The diagram shows a field A, B, C, D, and E. Calculate the perimeter of the field A, B, C, D, E. So, when they are talking about the perimeter, we have to find out the length of the outline of this shape. So the outline of the shape is made up of length AB, BC, CD, DE and EA. So by adding all these lengths, we are going to get the perimeter. So let me write here. Perimeter of the shape AB, CD, E is equal to AB plus BC plus CD plus DE plus EA. Now if we look at the lengths, the length of AB is given as 100, BC is 170. The length of CD and DE is missing and the length of EA is also given as 50 which means we have to calculate the length of CD and DE. Now let us focus on the length CD and for that we are going to consider the right angle triangle BCD. This is right angled because in the diagram they have given here that angle D from this triangle is 90 degree. So let me separate this triangle and redraw it. So here we have redrawn the same triangle CDB. And the length of BD was 150 meter, length of BC was 170 meter. Now we have to find out the length of CD as required. Now BC represents the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle because it is opposite to the 90 degree angle. So CD becomes another side or another leg of this right angle triangle. So we can use Pythagoras theorem to find out the length of CD. So let us write here. So hypotenuse square that is BC square is equal to sum of square of other two sides that is CD square plus BD square. Now here the hypotenuse value is given. So substituting the values we get here, BC square as 170 square is equal to CD square, this is what we need to find, plus BD square which is given as 150. So here we have written 150 square. Now rearranging this expression, we take 150 on the other side of equal to sign. So it becomes CD square is equal to 170 square minus 150 square. Now taking the square on the other side of equal to sign, it changes to a square root and the square root of this gives us the value as 80. So here we got the value of CD as 80. Let us write here. Now once we have got the value of CD, the only length we need to find out is length of DE. Now for that we are going to make use of right angle triangle DEA and it is right angled at A. So let me redraw the triangle. So here we have redrawn the triangle DEA. It was right angled at A and the length of DA was given as 120 and length of EA was 50. So here if we see, the length of DE is the length of the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle because the length DE is opposite to the 90 degree, so it becomes the hypotenuse. So again by using the Pythagoras theorem, we can find its length. So here we have written hypotenuse square, that is DE square, is equal to sum of square of rest two sides that is EA square plus AD square. Now substituting their respective values, we get 50 square plus 120 square. Now DE square, we are going to send the square on the other side of equal to sign. So it changes to square root and square root of these numbers gives us a value as 130. So the length of DE is 130 meters. Now finally, we have found the length of all the sides of the field ABCDE. Now let us substitute their values to find the perimeter. So here we have the length of AB as 100, BC as 170, CD we just now got it as 80, DE we got it as 130 and length of EA is 50. And when we add all these values, we'll get the perimeter as 530 meters. Now let us move on to the B question. Now the B sub question is to calculate the angle ABD that is over here. We need to find out the value of this angle. Now for that, we are going to separate out the triangle ABD. So let me redraw it. So we have redrawn the triangle over here, ABD, and the length of all the sides of the triangle are written. And since in this triangle, all the three sides of the triangle are given, and the value of an angle is asked, we can use the cosine rule to get the value of angle B. So let us write the cosine rule for this triangle. So cos of angle B is equal to sum of square of the sides which are attached to this angle, that is AB square plus BD square, minus the side which is opposite to the angle B, that is AD square, divided by two times the sides which connect to the angle B, that is AB times BD. 
as we have written over here. Now let us substitute the respective values of all these sides. So we have here 100 square that is the length of AB plus 150 square length of BD minus 120 square length of AD over 2 times 100 times 150. Now solving this we get the value as 181 over 300. Since we have to find out the value of angle B, we are going to take cos on the other side of equal to sign. So it changes as arc cos or cos inverse. So let us write here cos inverse of 181 over 300. So this gives us the value as 52.89 degrees. So this is the value of the angle ABD. So we have written here angle ABD is equal to 52.89 degrees that is rounding to two decimal places. Now let us move on to the C question. Now the C question has two sub questions. Let us start with the first one. Calculate angle CBD. That is we have to find out this angle. Angle CBD. So for this let us separate out this right angle triangle and redraw it. So here is the right angle triangle CBD. And the respective sides are being marked. That is BD is 150 meters and BC is 170 meters. Since we have to find out this angle that is angle B, let us try to understand which is the opposite side, hypotenuse and the adjacent side. Now CD is opposite to the angle of concern that is angle B. So this becomes the opposite side. The side opposite to 90 degree is BC. So this becomes the hypotenuse and default the remaining side BD becomes the adjacent side. Now here in this figure we have the hypotenuse and the adjacent side. So we are going to make use of the cosine trigonometric ratio. So let me write here. Cos of angle CBD is equal to adjacent side over hypotenuse. So adjacent side is 150 here and hypotenuse is 170. So we have substituted the respective values. Now since we have to find out angle CBD, let us take cos on the other side of equal to sign. So it becomes cos inverse or arc cos. So angle CBD is equal to cos inverse of 150 over 170. This will give us a value of 28.07 degree or we can round it to one decimal place and get it as 28.1 degree. So the value of angle CBD is 28.1 degree. Now let us move on to the second sub question. The point C is due north of point B. Find the bearing of D from B. Now the point C is due north of the point B means we can see B and C form a straight line in the direction of the north. So due north indicates there is a straight line towards the north from point B pointing towards point C. Now we have to find the bearing of D from B. Now remember that whenever you are finding bearing, you have to always start at the north of the point from where it is being asked to measure. So here in this case it is being asked from point B. So we have to take the north line from point B and we have to start moving clockwise in the direction till we reach the line that is connected to point D. So this is the dashed line which is connected to point D. So here we need to find out the bearing of D from B. Now in the first sub question of part C, we had got the value of angle B for this triangle CBD and it was 28.1 degree. Now since you are finding the angle at the point B, this total angle forms 360 degree. So here we have to simply subtract the 28.1 degree from 360 to get the bearing of D from B. So 360 minus 28.1 degree will give us a value of 331.9 degrees. So this is the bearing of D from B. Let us write here. So this is the answer for the given question. Now let us move on to the last sub question. Calculate the area of the field ABCDE. Give your answer in hectares and one hectare is equal to 10,000 meters square. So here we have to first find out the area of this field and then convert the meter square into hectares. Now in this figure we can clearly see that there are three triangles. So we have to find out the area of each triangle and add them together to get the total area of this field. So we will write here total area of the field ABCDE is equal to area of triangle DEA plus area of triangle ADB plus area of the triangle CDB. Now here I am going to draw individual triangles and start finding the areas. Starting with the triangle DEA, I have drawn the same figure over here so that it will be easy to refer. So here the right angle triangle DEA, we have the length DA as 120 and AE as 50 meters. And since this is a right angle triangle, we can make use of the formula to find the area of the triangle as 1 over 2 times base times height. 
For this triangle, the base is AE and the height is DA. Now substituting its respective value, we get here 1 over 2 times 50 times 120. So simplifying this, we get a value as 3000 meter square. So area of this triangle is 3000. So let us write here. Area of triangle DAE is 3000 meter square. Now let us focus on the triangle ADB. Now ADB is not a right angle triangle. So here AD is 120 meters, BD is 150 meters and AB is 100 meters. Now in part B of this question we had found out the value of angle B and it was 52.89 degree. So here we are going to make use of a different formula that is area of the triangle is equal to 1 over 2 times the sides which are connected to the angle B that is side AB times side BD times sine of angle ABD. So let us substitute their respective values now. So it is 1 over 2 times 100 times 150 times sine 52.89. Now let us see its value. Now since this is an intermediate value, take at least 4 decimal places after the decimal point or 3 decimal places. Now here in this case I have taken 4 decimal places 5981.0897 meters square. Now comes our last triangle that is triangle CDB. So here we have the right angle triangle CDB. The length of BC is 170, length of BD is 150 and the length of CD we had found in part A of this question and it was 80 meters. Now here again since it is a right angle triangle we can make use of the formula area is equal to half base times height. Now the base here is 150 and the height is 80. So substituting their values we get here 1 over 2 times 150 times 80. Now let us see its value. So here we get the value as 6000. So here we have written area of triangle CBD as 6000 meters square. Now let us combine or add all these areas together. So we can write here total area of the field ABCDE is equal to sum of all these areas and this will give us the value as 14,981.0897 meters square. But in the question we had to convert the meters into hectares. One hectare is equal to 10,000 meters square. Then how many hectares are going to give us 14,981.0897 meters square. So if you cross multiply, we are just going to divide this number by 10,000. So that will convert the meter square into hectares. So here we will get the value as 1.4981 or we can just round it to one decimal place and write it as 1.50 hectares. So this is the value or this is the total area of the given field. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video and if you found this video interesting, you can click on this playlist and find more videos on trigonometry and mensuration. And if you're liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.